Biotin, Wikipedia article audio. Biotin is a water-soluble B vitamin, also called vitamin B7 and formerly known as vitamin H or coenzyme R. It is composed of a ureado ring fused with a tetrahydrothiophene ring. A valeric acid substituent is attached to one of the carbon atoms of the tetrahydrothiophene ring. Biotin is a coenzyme for carboxylase enzymes, involved in the synthesis of fatty acids, isoleucine, and valine, and in gluconeogenesis. General Biosynthesis Biotin deficiency can be caused by inadequate dietary intake or inheritance of one or more inborn genetic disorders that affect biotin metabolism. Subclinical deficiency can cause mild symptoms, such as hair thinning or skin rash typically on the face. Neonatal screening for biotinidase deficiency began in the United States in 1984 with many countries testing for this disorder at birth. Individuals born prior to 1984 are unlikely to have been screened, obscuring the true prevalence of the disorder. Biotin is an important component of enzymes involved in metabolizing fats and carbohydrates, influencing cell growth, and affecting amino acids involved in protein synthesis. Biotin assists in various metabolic reactions involving the transfer of carbon dioxide. It may also be helpful in maintaining a steady blood sugar level. Biotin is often recommended as a dietary supplement for strengthening hair and nails, though scientific data supporting this outcome are weak. Nevertheless, biotin is found in many cosmetics and health products for the hair and skin. Biotin deficiency is rare. The amounts needed are small, a wide range of foods contain biotin, and intestinal bacteria synthesize biotin, which is then absorbed by the host animal. For that reason, statutory agencies in many countries, for example the USA and Australia, have not formally established a recommended daily intake of biotin. Instead, an adequate intake is identified based on the theory that average intake meets needs. Future research could result in biotin ACE with ears and RDAs. A number of rare metabolic disorders exist in which an individual's metabolism of biotin is abnormal, such as deficiency in the holocarboxylase synthetase enzyme which covalently links biotin onto the carboxylase where the biotin acts as a cofactor. Biotin has an unusual structure, with two rings fused together via one of their sides. The two rings are ureado and theophene moieties. Biotin is a heterocyclic, S-containing monocarboxylic acid. It is made from two precursors, alanine and pimiloyl coa via three enzymes. 8-amino-7 oxypelargonic acid synthase is a pyridoxal 5-phosphate enzyme. The pimiloyl CoA, could be produced by a modified fatty acid pathway involving a malonyl thioester as the starter. 7,8-diaminopelargonic acid aminotransferase is unusual in using S-adenosylmethionine as the NH2 donor. Dithiobiotin synthetase catalyzes the formation of the ureado ring via a DAPA carbamate activated with ADP. Biotin synthase reductively cleaves SAM into a deoxyadenosyl radical. A first radical formed on dithiobiotin is trapped by the sulfur donor, which was found to be the iron sulfur center contained in the enzyme. Cofactor biochemistry D-biotin is a cofactor responsible for carbon dioxide transfer in several carboxylase enzymes. Biotin is important in fatty acid synthesis, branched-chain amino acid catabolism, and gluconeogenesis. It covalently attaches to the epsilon amino group of specific lysine residues in these carboxylases. 
This biotinylation reaction requires ADP and is catalyzed by hollow carboxylase synthetase. In bacteria, biotin is attached to biotin carboxyl carrier protein by biotin protein ligase. The attachment of biotin to various molecules, biotinylation, is used as an important laboratory technique to study various processes, including protein localization, protein interactions, DNA transcription, and replication. Biotinidase itself is known to be able to biotinylate histone proteins, but little biotin is found naturally attached to chromatin. Dietary Recommendations Biotin binds tightly to the tetrameric protein avidin, with the dissociation constant Kd on the order of 1015 m, which is one of the strongest known protein ligand interactions. This is often used in different biotechnological applications. Until 2005, very harsh conditions were thought to be required to break the biotin streptavidin interaction. The U.S. Institute of Medicine updated estimated average requirements and recommended dietary allowances for biotin in 1998. At that time, there was insufficient information to establish ears and RDAs for biotin. In instances such as this, the board sets adequate intakes with the understanding that, at some later date when the physiological effects of biotin are better understood, ACE will be replaced by more exact information. The adequate intakes for daily intake of biotin increase over life, with amounts for ages under 18 years at 25 micrograms per day, whereas those for adults are 30 mg per day. For women who are breastfeeding infants, the AI is 35 mg per day. As for safety, the Institute of Medicine estimates tolerable upper intake levels for vitamins and minerals when evidence for a true upper limit is sufficient. For biotin, however, there is no all because adverse effects of high biotin intake have not been determined. Collectively the ears, RDAs, ACE, and ALS are referred to as dietary reference intakes. Sources the European Food Safety Authority refers to the collective set of information as dietary reference values, with population reference intake instead of RDA, and average requirement instead of ear. AI and L are defined the same as in United States. For women and men over age 18, the adequate intake is set at 40 mg per day. The AI for pregnancy is 40 mg per day, and 45 mg per day during breastfeeding. For children ages 1-17 years, the ACE increase with age from 20 to 35 mg per day. EFSA also reviewed safety and reached the same conclusion as in United States that there is insufficient evidence to set a tolerable upper limit for biotin. Bioavailability For the United States food and dietary supplement labeling purposes, the amount in a serving is expressed as a percent of daily value. For biotin labeling purposes, 100% of the daily value was revised in 2016 to 30 mg per day to bring it into agreement with the AI. The original deadline to be in compliance was July 28. 2018, but on September 29, 2017, the FDA released a proposed rule that extended the deadline to January 1, 2020 for large companies and January 1, 2021 for small companies to make changes in product labeling. Factors that affect biotin requirements Biotin is synthesized by intestinal bacteria, but there is a lack of good quality studies about how much biotin they provide. Biotin is stable at room temperature and is not destroyed by cooking. Sources with appreciable content are Deficiency 
Raw egg whites contain a protein that blocks the absorption of biotin, so people who regularly consume a large number of eggs may become biotin deficient. The dietary biotin intake in Western populations has been estimated to be as high as 60 mg per day. Biotin is also available in dietary supplements, individually or as an ingredient in multivitamins. Biotin is also called vitamin H or vitamin B7. Studies on its bioavailability have been conducted in rats and in chicks. Based on these studies, biotin bioavailability may be low or variable, depending on the type of food being consumed. In general, biotin exists in food as protein-bound form or biocytin. Proteolysis by protease is required prior to absorption. This process assists free biotin release from biocytin and protein-bound biotin. The biotin present in corn is readily available, however, most grains have about a 20-40% to bioavailability of biotin. The wide variability in biotin bioavailability may be due to the ability of an organism to break various biotin protein bonds from food. Whether an organism has an enzyme with that ability will determine the bioavailability of biotin from the foodstuff. The frequency of marginal biotin status is not known, but the incidence of low circulating biotin levels in alcoholics has been found to be much greater than in the general population. Also, Relatively low levels of biotin have been reported in the urine or plasma of patients who have had a partial gastrectomy or have other causes of achlorhydria, burn patients, epileptics, elderly individuals, and athletes. Pregnancy and lactation may be associated with an increased demand for biotin. In pregnancy, this may be due to a possible acceleration of biotin catabolism, whereas, in lactation, the higher demand has yet to be elucidated. Recent studies have shown marginal biotin deficiency can be present in human gestation, as evidenced by increased urinary excretion of 3-hydroxyisovaleric acid, decreased urinary excretion of biotin and bisnorbiotin, and decreased plasma concentration of biotin. Additionally, Smoking may further accelerate biotin catabolism in women. Biotin deficiency typically occurs from absence of the vitamin in the diet, particularly in breastfeeding mothers. Daily consumption of raw egg whites for several months may result in biotin deficiency, due to their avidin content. Metabolic Disorders Deficiency can be addressed with nutritional supplementation. Use in biotechnology. Deficiency symptoms include Acetyl-CoA carboxylase alpha, Acetyl-CoA carboxylase beta, Methylcrotonyl-CoA carboxylase, Propionyl-CoA carboxylase, Pyruvate carboxylase. The neurological and psychological symptoms can occur with only mild deficiencies. Dermatitis, conjunctivitis, and hair loss will generally occur only when deficiency becomes more severe. Individuals with hereditary disorders of biotin deficiency have evidence of impaired immune system function, including increased susceptibility to bacterial and fungal infections. Pregnant women tend to have a higher risk of biotin deficiency. Nearly half of pregnant women have abnormal increases of 3-hydroxyisovaleric acid, which reflects reduced status of biotin. Inherited metabolic disorders characterized by deficient activities of biotin-dependent carboxylases are termed multiple carboxylase deficiency. These include deficiencies in the enzymes holocarboxylase synthetase or biotinidase. Holocarboxylase synthetase deficiency prevents the body's cells from using biotin effectively, and thus interferes with multiple carboxylase reactions. Biochemical and clinical manifestations include, 
ketolactic acidosis, organic aciduria, hyperaminemia, skin rash, feeding problems, hypotonia, seizures, developmental delay, alopecia, and coma. Beef or pork liver, cooked, up to 35 mg per 3 ounce serving, egg, cooked, up to 25 mg per large egg, yeast, bakers, dried, up to 14 mg per 7 gram packet, whole wheat bread, up to 6 mg per slice, avocado, up to 6 mg per avocado, salmon, cooked, up to 5 mg per 3 ounce serving, cauliflower, raw, up to 4 mg per cup, cheese, cheddar, up to 2 mg per ounce. Biotinidase deficiency is not due to inadequate biotin, but rather to a deficiency in the enzymes that process it. Biotinidase catalyzes the cleavage of biotin from biocytin and biotinyl peptides and thereby recycles biotin. It is also important in freeing biotin from dietary protein-bound biotin. General symptoms include decreased appetite and growth. Dermatologic symptoms include dermatitis, alopecia, and achromatrichia. Porosis is seen in the skeleton. Fatty liver and kidney syndrome and hepatic steatosis also can occur. Medical laboratory testing. Toxicity. Biotin is widely used throughout the biotechnology industry to conjugate proteins for biochemical assays. Biotin's small size means the biological activity of the protein will most likely be unaffected. This process is called biotinylation. Because both streptavidin and avidin bind biotin with high affinity and specificity, biotinylated proteins of interest can be isolated from a sample by exploiting this highly stable interaction. The sample is incubated with streptavidin slash avidin beads, allowing capture of the biotinylated protein of interest. Any other proteins binding to the biotinylated molecule will also stay with the bead and all other unbound proteins can be washed away. However, due to the extremely strong streptavidin-biotin interaction, very harsh conditions are needed to elute the biotinylated protein from the beads which often will denature the protein of interest. To circumvent this problem, beads conjugated to monomeric avidin can be used, which has a decreased biotin binding affinity of 10,8 moles L, allowing the biotinylated protein of interest to be eluded with excess free biotin. Brittle and thin fingernails, hair loss, conjunctivitis, dermatitis in the form of a scaly, red rash around the eyes, nose, mouth, and genital area, neurological symptoms in adults, such as depression, lethargy, hallucination, and numbness and tingling of the extremities. As one of the strongest noncovalent interactions, the binding of biotin to streptavidin is commonly used as the target molecular interaction in the research of biosensors and cell sorting. ELISAs often make use of biotinylated detection antibodies against the antigen of interest, followed by a detection step using streptavidin conjugated to a reporter molecule, such as horseradish peroxidase or alkaline phosphatase. Biotin in samples taken from people ingesting high levels of biotin in dietary supplements may affect diagnostic test results. Because there are no reported cases of adverse effects from receiving high doses of biotin, there are no tolerable upper intake levels established in the United States.